That, uh, that song was made famous uh, from a uh, musical, Gypsy Rose Lee, featured big talents there. And, and when we're talking about big talents in the clown van, we, we have to talk about Kate Smith. Everybody remember Kate Smith? No, Kate was never in the clown van. No, and, and if Kate Smith was, um, well, to use the proper modern terminology, she was a woman of size. She, she was, she was, she was, if you were going to use the internet lingo, that would be a BBW, a big, beautiful woman. Now, we don't have one of those, but when we say we have uh, somebody to fill um, Kate Smith's shoes, we actually do have that person right here. Jim Frost, as you can see, like, like Kate, right here. Size 14 triple E shoes. You can look that up. That was her shoe size. You can look that up on Wikipedia. What? Uh, Wikipedia is not a dirty word. It's not a dirty word. Wikipedia, it's a website. There's nothing dirty. Your own son says there's nothing dirty on the internet. Why do you think he's in his bedroom all hours of the night? You think he's. Never mind. But, but, He's got, and that's why he's still living at home because uh, Jim made the mistake of getting Wi-Fi. Okay, well here we go. But Jim's going to fill Kate's shoes. He's going to sing Kate's song, which is, of course, "God Bless America." Very patriotic guy, Jim. And his son will actually be directing. Yes. And uh, so we have uh, we have Kate and son. Yes, uh, John. Why are you in between? Yes, we will eventually. But here we go. Are you ready? What are you, you're going to sing? You're going to sing Kate's song. God bless America. Yeah, there you go. that you have a piccolo player. Because it's a big song, it's even bigger than God Bless. But you need a piccolo player, and you will notice, no piccolo player. We have nine piccolo players on the roster of the Scott Bell Clown Band, but none of them are here. True, four of them are dead. This is, uh, this is John Salehar. We don't have a piccolo player, but we do have a dingling. And he plays the ding. You play with the dingling? You play the dingling. Sometimes. So he is going to play the dingling. There will be a special guest playing the piccolo part in an unorthodox way. But John will be playing the dingling. Now John here, uh, he loves the Stars and Stripes Forever. It's his most favorite song in the whole world. And it's very interesting because he did not start out as a United States citizen. 
and he is a war hero. But he did not fight for the other side. That's an ugly rumor. He, in fact, was a member of the Dutch military guard. And in 1940, when good Queen Butt Best said, all able-bodied men report, John reported. The Germans invaded. And three days later, John was captured. True story. He got, he got captured, and he spent the rest of his time, they found out he was a teenager who could play drums. They said, we have just the thing for you to do, and he played in a dance band and German officer club for the remainder of the war. Until, until he got shot down, or he got blown up out of that gig, he literally got bombed out of that gig by Jack Rillam of Muskegon, Michigan, right there. World War II era pilot who happens also to be in the clown band. And uh, even though they didn't know each other at the time, they they and they've now forgiven each other. Um, you know, John John forgive. It was it was a gig. You know, I mean, musicians always need a gig, and he got bombed out of it. But he's since adopted the United States as his home country. Below these many decades, he's been here for well more than 50 years, and he loves this next song, "Stars and Stripes Forever," and he's going to use his dingling to play with mallets, or mallets, and then other things will happen. Uh, we'll do this on a roll-off, not malice. He's not here. There's no malice here. 